This is Ryan again with your News in 90. Downtown Gainesville is updating their parking experience through a new app. The app is called Passport Parking and has been implemented in more than 2,000 cities in North America since its launch in 2012. Gainesville, as well as Midtown near UF's campus, are a part of this tech upgrade. The service has been used on a portion of the University of Florida campus since last year. Users are charged a $0.35 cents transaction fee each time they use the app. But for those who want to stay old school, the city's 400-some parking meters will still take loose change. Police are heightening their presence in the Tampa neighborhood of Seminole Heights following three killings in less than two weeks. The shooting started on October 9th with the death of 22-year-old Benjamin Mitchell. 32-year-old Monica Hoffa and 20-year-old Anthony Niboa became the second and third victims shortly after. Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn says the city is clearing alleyways, cutting undergrowth, and adding streetlights to get better eyes on possible suspects. Larger and faster growing jackpots. That's the goal of new changes being made to the lottery game Mega Millions. The game's starting prize will jump from $15 million to $40 million. These bigger payouts do, however, come at a cost. Ticket prices will also rise. You'll have to pay $2 per ticket, up from $1 previously. The pricing and payout changes are similar to those made by Powerball in 2012. The changes go into effect on October 28th. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at wuft.org.